uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, human tippy zerdlings. Hope you are wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Bushkin. Today we're going to be talking about the Cent 51. The 5 and 1 is a tank that I've been desperate to do a video on and get a hold of for a while. Because I took a little bit of a hiatus from the game, I didn't have this tank in the garage, so hat tip. Thanks, Wargaming, for looking after me and putting this tank in when I asked for it because I was really keen to get a hold of it. Uh, it's a sexy tank. There, I said it. Sue me. I don't care. I think the tank's pretty freaking gorgeous. And it is a tank that is very near and dear to the hearts of Australians. Uh, it's accurate. It's got great DPM for a tier 8 medium. It's got great gun depression for a tier 8 medium. It's got a great turret for a tier 8 medium. And, uh, yeah, it's just an all-round winner. This is a picture of Junior in front of the 5-1 and one outside the... War Memorial in Canberra. We went on a family holiday there. So you can see when they call it the Royal Australian Armoured Corps 5 1 Dingo, uh, there's a reason for that. Now let's let's get to a couple of things. Firstly, I understand that this is a rare tank, but it's my YouTube channel. And don't don't want me to review tanks that I love, then you can appear for a very, very long wait. Because I love reviewing tanks that I love. Uh, let's talk about the armor profile first and foremost so that we can then kick off into the, the real nitty gritty. Let's talk armor profile. Firstly, this is the Tech Tree Centurion 1, which I quite like. Um, and it is green where you can pen it with an IS-3's AP. Uh, that's the BL-9, a very, very well-known tier eight uh, heavy gun. This is the Tech Tree and this is the Scent 5-1. The Aussie Scent, that's the turret. That's a big difference between one and the other. That's with AP. Even with APCR, this turret is incredibly difficult to pen. Uh, and that's with two 25 millimeters of AP pen right now. That's a crazy amount. If you elevate it, this is the uh, very red turret of a tomato. And look at that upper glacis. That's something that doesn't happen with the tech tree. This is the tech tree. Even elevated, that upper glacis is green. Now let's talk about some of the key features of this tank. One is your rate of fire, 4.9 seconds, allows you to keep tanks permatracked. You can see, I'm gonna just keep pumping tracks uh, and letting, even here, I don't go for damage. I go to track him so that my teammates can just, where do you think you're going, buddy? Uh, 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 sit, sit and enjoy the ride, my action X friend, you big red tomato. Ta -ta! <laughs> you reload every 4.9 seconds. And your gun is incredibly accurate. It's already at 0.299 dispersion, which is an excellent number for a tier eight median. Uh, but I run the refined gun, which takes it all the way down 0.299 uh, to 0.269, which is great. And you're not a brawler. Like you have to keep hitting tracks just so that you can have a chance. And I'm bigger than this IS-6, which is crazy, but you're actually smaller than the tech tree centurion one like you're slightly lower to the ground but you're still massive you're not going to get missed if you are in the open um your penetration your penetration is superb 226 millimeters of ap pen with a very good 1020 meter a second shell velocity well it's certainly very good for a tier 8 tank and a tier 8 medium at that so you have incredible penetration incredible accuracy and good shell velocity. Well, what's the drawback? Obviously, your alpha payload is very low, 190 alpha, but you don't really need to use APCR very often. The reason it is even able to brawl a little bit is because it's so much more effective than the Scent 1, which you find in the tech tree. And I'm using the Scent 1 because it allows you to have something you can really easily compare this tank to. This has a 1,045 horsepower engine. Now, it's a big, chunky tank. There's no getting away from that. But because you have five kilometers an hour more top speed than the Scent 1, uh, and you have a bigger engine, your power to weight ratio is 20.64. To give you some comparison, the Panther 2 has 14.39 as a power to weight ratio, and the Progetto has 22.22. Your terrain resistance, though, is better than the Progetto's and slightly worse than the Panther 2. So your effective horsepower per ton 
uh, ends up being 20.6 on a baseline, which is just under the Progetto again, but better than the Scent 1 and the Panther 2 all over. These, these kind of things can't be overstated. The Centurion 1 has 37 degrees of traverse. This tank has 45. These are the kind of things that allow you to max out what is an excellent package that includes a really, really accurate gun. I can't stress this enough. I had games where I will fire 20 shots and I will hit like penetrating shots on 18 of those shots. Uh, and I'll hit on 19 or 20 of them. And the only thing that'll stop you from hitting is if you obviously fire while the bloom is enormous. I'm gonna show you a couple of games now in the tank. And I was so looking forward to this tank. This is the play style that I love. Having something that you can rely on in a medium tank, like a turret, allows you to manufacture situations where you can do well. And if you're desperate and you're brawling uh, and you're fighting a tank with an auto reloader like a Progetto, then you just have to face hug and push and move backwards and forwards in terms of your, uh, you know, you, you just got to do everything you can to keep things going. That was my fault using auto aim there. That was not the gun on the tank, obviously. It was a rock in front of the tank and I still pressed the trigger. Uh, and bleeding hit points there isn't good. But you're going to notice how many times I'm shooting tanks and they are just pens everywhere. There is no area. Oh, Borsi, why did you move forward? That was completely unnecessary, mate. Completely unnecessary and got you rocked. Still, taken one out. Excellent. And there's one that's already low. He's our next priority target. And we're just going to ignore the Progetto that's pushed in on us. I think that's a Pantera. The standard B. Standard B, that's the one. Not much we could do about him. We've got to fight this bloke up top. Look, I understand that these are only 190 alpha doses. But there's not many of them <laughs> that don't pen. Or at least don't go hitting. And you are running at 2300 DPM. That's slightly under a Panther 2, but it's just above the average for a normal tier 8 medium. And if you brawl, everything everything is a pen. Like, everything is a pen. Face hug, side hug, move, don't stop, shove him, shove that turret right in. Look how big it is. She's just monstrous. She's just a big, beautiful, bouncy Centurion 51. And I love it. I just love it. I can't help it. It's one of my favorite tanks ever, and it shouldn't be a surprise. If you've watched the channel, you will know that I absolutely adore the Descent 7 and 1. Uh, you're going to note that I'm trying to make him fire over these ass because he doesn't have the gun depression there, and then we hit the the afterburners and push in close and end up getting the shot. Does it win? Hells to the yes, it wins. Uh, I played 30-odd games in it. What's my... Let me quickly bring up my uh, stats in the tank. Okay, we played 30-odd games in it. We won 75% uh, of the time, and we averaged just a shade under 2,000 average damage. It doesn't poop damage the way a lot of the tanks that I really love do, because obviously the alpha is so, so low. But watch this. The, the effect it has on the game... I'm going to push... The, watch these shots. This is the gun, and I cannot... If you don't believe me about how good this gun is, <laughs> watch this. This is hilarious. This poor grub over there, right? Look at AP. Bang. On the nodule. I've already hit one shot into the uh, light at the top. Bang. Again. And just not going to pen this turret easily. You can pen it, but you're not going to pen it easily. My turret I'm talking about. Uh, I'm going to wait. There's a, an SU over there. We'll hit him once and back up. Fires, cool. More shots. Let's have some more shots. Oh, he can't hit me again. He's just fired. Let's hit this guy on the road. On the way down, the gun sings. It literally sings. I can't help you. If you don't like it already, you're never going to like it because this is exactly the kind of gun you want in the game. How often are you frustrated when you're driving like a Rusky Medium or, or something along those lines? Oh, if it only the gun had hit, I'd be fine. You will not have that problem in the scent one. You will hit, you will pen. You'll clap your hands together and you will go on with life. <laughs> this is how it works. And because it's so fast in terms of reload, you are always in the game. There's always things happening. You're always picking up spares and 
moving around the battlefield. I mean, that's not the Sed's fault. That was a desperation just as he went past the rock. But this is the gun doing the work. Not really me doing the work. I'm just moving this thing around the battlefield and it is absolutely tearing shit apart. Excuse the language, I didn't mean to swear. Ah, I gotta go back and edit that. No, no, screw it. Let's get going. Let's get going. Um, yeah, it's a great tank. It's a fun tank. If you get the opportunity and it comes up in the game again, you should grab it. Uh, and I understand that a lot of people don't like buying tanks. and They don't like doing crates and all that kind of thing. That's cool. Your call. You're the one who spends your own money. But if I was going to spend money on something, I'd spend it on a tank like this. I would not spend it on something that's super OP. It is not OP. And I think I probably have oversold that fact. Um... The reason that I think I do so well in this tank is because it suits my play style. Uh, the gun is now damaged. That is why it may miss a couple of shots. But this suits my play style. I love hull down tanks. I love accurate tanks. Um, I love the Sent 7 and 1. It is a... Uh, I love the T62A. These are the kinds of things that make my socks roll up and down. They may not be the kind of things that make your socks roll and down. You might prefer to bludgeon people with an object 252U. You might like running a Kranwagen Hagen Dagen. That's cool. That's your job. No one is going to make you change. But if you love running a tank, it is both accurate, looks hot as hell, and has a whole lot of pew, 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 pew. 51. Maybe you're loving spoonful. I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. That would help me tremendously. What were the stats at the end of this one? Let's just check the numbers. Uh, yeah, so we fired 24 shots, hit 20, and of those 20 hits, we penned 19 times. In fact, we missed a couple of shots just flat out when the gun was broken because someone had hit it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Look after yourself. Stay safe in the battlefield. And until next time, bye for now.